Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today's date is Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023. It is now 6.43 a.m. in cloudy Salem, Oregon. I am working on painting number 6 of 12 of the mystery pack that I bought from Amazon back in November of 2022 and um, I bought this on Amazon and the cost on it I forgot let's see it was $22.98 it has 22 colors. It's a 30 by 40 centimeter, round drills, full canvas. Yeah, so I did start this this morning and I'm working just on this one side. Um, the reason being is that um, I have these squares cut out and they don't fit over here. So I always just do this side that is open and I have my hot coffee here with my hazelnut creamer so this morning I was outside with Ellie and we have these birds that have decided that they they it's almost like they play hide and seek or um, I don't know what games they're playing but they chase each other around in our front yard and can you hear Ellie's tail she's beside me <laughs> And I'm petting her, and she's happy, <laughs> and her tail's a going. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, anyway, they um, chase each other, flying around, and now they have decided that over on my son's side of the porch, and by the door, um, they and there's brick there, and they sit on the brick and on the top of the door frame and just chatter back and forth. And I'm going to try to get video of it because it is hilarious. But every year we have baby birds. And I think these might be part of those baby birds. And it's like they're just kids out playing and having a good time. And <laughs> and then they have to stop and rest and chatter about their next moves or something. I don't know. They're hilarious to watch. Now, I am afraid of birds. Um, I do not like them flying around me. <laughs> and... These birds are so fast and they go over on my son's side of the porch and then they fly over to my side where I'm at and it's like they scare me to death. <laughs> Ellie's gotten used to them now so she just doesn't pay any attention. And then I have a hummingbird feeder um, just on the other side of the porch and hanging on the fence. And they come by and they'll hover right in front of me. And it's like they're saying good morning to me. It's quite entertaining in the morning. <laughs> And of course, when I have my camera out there, there's no action. 
It's always when I'm out there and don't have the camera. So, but the birds will love me this morning because I'm going to go out and do some watering. So they'll enjoy the water. But I have to leave Ellie inside when I have the hose out. And I'm sprinkling things down because she loves the hose. She doesn't like water, but boy, she loves that hose. Really weird. Yeah, she won't leave it alone, so she'll just get in the way and get soaking wet. And it's if it was hot out, I'd let her um, play out there, but it's a little on the cool side. And she does not need another ear infection. I'm really liking this painting. The colors are so bright and um, just real vibrant. I don't know if it's showing up in the camera or not, but whoops. Yeah, so far it's been nice to work on. All these paintings from the 12 pack that I got have been nice. And I didn't figure out what this word is yet. I tried to take a picture of it and Google it, but for some reason my camera doesn't want to do that anymore. The other day I was trying to figure out what clouds we had because they were different looking clouds. And so I took a picture and it told me what the clouds were, but I don't know. I guess I overtaxed it and now it doesn't want to give me answers. So far today, I don't have anything on the agenda. <laughs> I said that yesterday, and then things changed at the last minute. Other than water in the yard. I am going to pull out some be attractors from the ground i noticed that we have a few and according to google when you see those appear if you get them right when they first start to sprout up then you can deroot them so i'm going to do that this morning when i'm out watering I do not want to fight those bees again this, this summer. Ellie is so allergic that I always have to be outside with her. Um, and just watching so that no bees get next to her. She kind of knows when her ears perk up and as she hears, she's got super hearing. And as she hears a buzzing noise, she comes running. So she's kind of got a sixth sense of 
yeah, I better stay away from those. Otherwise, I got to go to the vet. <laughs> Not her favorite thing to do. So it's supposed to be cool again today. I think we're in a cooling trend uh, for the next week, which is fine with me. Except, hopefully, we do get some sun coming out because when the sun is out, that means money is dropping from the sun. Because then we're getting credits on our electric bill because we have solar panels so we build up credits for the winter time so the bill isn't so expensive so you build up credits and Generally, we've got enough credits to last us through our January bill. So we really only have a bill for a couple months. Usually the January, February, March. So, during April, April to, well, actually, probably April to October, our bill is $12 a month, and that's just because we have to pay for fees and taxes and all that stuff that they tack on but yeah but there's no power bill because we got all the credits so that's really nice and then of course we don't have any water or sewer bill because we're on well so that's a big savings And our water seems to be pretty clear, so I'm thinking, um, yeah, we'll be able to drink the water. So that's been since Sunday, so we're kind of, hopefully everybody's used water to go through the pipes and clean them out and all that and when I use the hose today that'll hopefully clean out the hose my son filled up the little pool the other day oh my gosh it was awful so we're gonna have to today we probably get all that sentiment out of there and have clear water to finish oh before, I want to tell you I am getting antsy to start that Chuck Penson painting if you want to join along um, we're starting at June 1st the Golden Valley by Chuck Penson and isn't that beautiful oh man 
It's a square drill, full canvas. It's 36.6 .6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 by 70 centimeters. Yeah, it's a biggie. So I'm thinking I can get this painting done and possibly one more. And maybe that, those stickers that I got, I think I have them sitting here somewhere. What did I do with them? Hmm, where did I put them? There they are. Yeah, these butterfly. That I got from email. Yeah, so June 1st is what next? Not this Thursday, but the following Thursday. So I think I've got enough time that I can finish this painting and do another 30 by 40. I have an eagle that I want, or not an eagle. I have a painting that I think it's a Christmas painting that is a single painting and I had borrowed some drills out of it so I've got an open drill pack and it's just been sitting there for months so I need to uh, get it off the table before I lose drills and then I think I've got another painting that I borrowed drills from and I might have been able to add the drills already so I need to get that one done and then I've got some drills that fell out of a canvas. I have no idea which one it goes to. So one of these days, I'll find that canvas and can add those drills to it. I could go through all my canvases and try to find it. But you know me, I'm lazy. Lazy retired granny. And once again, I'm going to try to upload part, I can't remember, part four of some diamond paintings that I did. I think we're up to 2020. And in 2020, um, I stopped diamond painting for a couple months. And there was, you know, life happens. And um, so I do have a bit of a gap, I think. My logbook here. That's twenty twenty two. That was twenty twenty. This is December twenty twenty. Look at my other logbook. Yeah, 
uh, I stopped diamond painting August 3rd, 2020, and then picked it back up on November 30th of 2020. Yeah. Kind of a tough time for me right then, so. And I actually was just trying to finish off the diamond paintings that I had. And... Then I moved right at that time back to my cabin because I was gone for a year and lived somewhere else. And Yeah, so I moved back to my cabin and then in November I was watching um, Ross over at Smells Like Yarn. He does diamond painting also. And he was showing his diamond paintings and his hauls from Amazon and he just really inspired me to get back to diamond painting and maybe, you know, I missed it. So I ordered a bunch of paintings from Amazon and got back to diamond painting again. And haven't had a break since, so. And I really, um, other than moving And getting myself organized again and um, I really don't know why I stopped diamond painting I it might be I was just knitting which is another one of my stress relievers or I think that's what it was. I was just knitting a lot. I can only concentrate on one thing back then. And so then I got back into the routine and of being back at the cabin. And then, yeah, so then I started diamond painting again, and then in January of 2021 <clears throat> is when I found, January or February, I found out we were going to be moving again. Oh, I just missed two H's right there. Dang it. Um, actually, all those H's I missed. Wow. What's not looking down? Yeah.
Yeah, and that second move is when I said no more yarn. I have so much yarn and it wasn't fun to move. <laughs> Plus this place um, was a little bit more expensive. So to move here, I had to cut back on luxuries. So I knew that it would be easy not to buy any yarn because I had so much. And my cousin supplies me with a lot of yarn that she gets and then decides she doesn't want it. So she sends it to me. <laughs> so I decided diamond painting was less expensive than the yarn. So I just build up my stash and then now I, I have a big stash of the 30 by 40s um, but now it's like I need to save my pennies so that I can buy more of the um, luxury line <laughs> of diamond paintings of course the true test is going to be when I do this Chuck Benson See how I fare with it doing a huge, huge canvas. <laughs> I'm sure I'll enjoy it. But, you know, really, I still will probably just buy if Hobby Lobby has them on clearance and possibly Joanne's if I hear about that but in my opinion Joanne's doesn't have as good as clearance sale as Hobby Lobby And Michael's is so far away from me that I have to really be in the mood to drive over there. If I hear that they're having a clearance sale or something, yeah, I might go over there. guess I really don't have anything else to talk about. I did get a little bit of knitting done last night while I watched TV. But not a whole lot. I didn't watch a whole lot of TV, so... Maybe I'll sit and do that today. caught up on my programs I got caught up on the acorn TV ones that I watch well my 30 minutes is just about up here so thanks for stopping by and joining me I appreciate it and thank you to all the new viewers I appreciate you coming by and watching, spending some time with me in my little world here, my retirement world. Okay, chat with you later. Thanks again for stopping by.